Welcome back to my channel. For this tutorial video, I will discuss solving quadratic inequalities in one variable of grade 9 mathematics. Kung bago ka lang sa aking channel, mag-subscribe ka na para tuloy-tuloy ang iyong pag-aaral. Steps in solving quadratic inequalities in one variable. Step 1, change the inequality to equality in standard form. Step 2, factor the inequality. Step 3, apply zero product property. 4, solve for the variable x. 5, plot the values of the variable x. 6, determine the intervals. 7, test a number from each interval against the inequality. 8, shade the solution on the number line. And state the final answer or the solution set. To continue, please remember the following intervals. A real interval is a set of real numbers that lies between two numbers. Uh, first is the so-called close interval. We will use open and close bracket. In notation, it states that x is an element of R such that x is between A and B. In the number line, we will use closed circles, meaning the values A and B are included on the solution set. Next is open interval. We will use open and close parentheses. In notation, X is an element of R such that X is between A and B. On the number line, we will use open circles, meaning the values A and B are not included on the solution set. Next is half open interval to the right. So we use open bracket to the left and close parenthesis to the right. In notation, x is an element of R such that x is between A and B. On the number line, we use close circle to the left meaning the value of A is included on the solution set and open circle to the right meaning the value of B is not included on the solution set. Fourth is the half open interval to the left. We use open parenthesis to the left and close bracket to the right. Since it is the opposite of number 3, so we use open circle to the left and close circle to the right. For this time, let us now solve problem 1. Find the solution set of x squared minus 4x minus 12 is greater than 0. First step. Change inequality to equality. So, from greater than will become equal. Next, factor the polynomials. The factors of the first term x squared equals x times x. Since the last term is minus, the operations of the factors are plus and minus. The factors of 12 if subtracted equals 2 and 6. Since the middle term is minus, minus on 6 plus on 2. To continue, apply zero product property by equating both of the factors to zero. Then solve individually, so we have x equals negative 2 or x equals 6. Next, locate the values negative 2 and 6 on the number line to determine the intervals. The first interval is going to the left of 2. In symbol, x is between negative infinity and negative 2. Second interval, x is between negative 2 and 6. And the third interval is going to the right of 6 or in symbol, x is between 6 and positive infinity. After determining the intervals, we are now on the testing number from each interval against the original inequality. And the first number to the left of negative 2 is negative 3. Negative 3 will be substituted to every x of the polynomial. Negative 3 squared equals 9. Negative 4 times negative 3 equals positive 12. 12 minus 12 equals 0. 9 plus 0 equals 9. 9 is greater than 0 is a true statement. Meaning that interval is part of the solution set. Next interval is x is between negative 2 and 6. Since 0 is between that interval, x equals 0 is the best test number. 
To test, x is equal to 0 on the inequality. Substitute 0 to x. So we have 0 squared minus 4 times 0 minus 12 is greater than 0. 0 squared is 0 minus 0 minus 12 is greater than 0. Cancel. So negative 12 is greater than 0. Since negative 12 is not greater than 0, so this is a false statement. The third interval is x is between 6 and its positive infinity. The lowest value is x equals 7. To substitute x equals 7 on the inequality, first uh, change x to 7. So we have 7 squared minus 4 times 7 minus 12 is greater than 0. 7 squared is 49. Negative 4 times 7 is minus 28. Minus 12 is greater than uh, 0. Uh, 49 minus 28 minus 12 is minus 40. Is greater than uh, 0. 49 minus 40 is 9. Greater than 0 is a true statement. Test also the two values of x, negative 2 and 6 to the original inequality. And after testing, they are both false, meaning they are both not included on the solution set. And please take note of this. The solution set is the interval values on true test values. After checking the test number to each interval, we will go back to our number line to plot the solution set. Since x equals negative 2 is false, we will use hollow circle meaning negative 2 is not included on the solution set. Since the test value negative 3 is true, we will shade negative infinity of negative 2 or to the left of negative 2. Since x equals 6 is false, we will use again hollow circle meaning x equals 6 is not included on the solution set. Since the test value x equals 7 is true, we will shade the positive infinity of 6 or to the right of 6. From the graph, the red infinite arrows to the left and to the right represents the solution set. In notation, it is pronounced as x such that x is between negative 2 and its negative infinity or x is between 6 and its positive infinity. In symbols, we can say that x is equal to open and close parenthesis negative infinity and negative 2 or open and close parenthesis 6 and its positive infinity. Again, we use parenthesis just because negative 2 and positive 6 are not included on the solution set. Next problem number 2, find the solution set of 3x squared minus 8x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. Again, change the inequality to equation. Then, factor the polynomial 3x squared minus 8x plus 5. Its factors are quantity 3x minus 5 and quantity x minus 1 equals 0. Then, apply zero product property by equating the two factors to 0. Then, solve for x. So, x equals 1 and x equals 5 thirds. Next, plot or locate the two values of x on the number line to determine the intervals. The first interval is to the left of 1. In symbols, x is between 1 and its negative infinity. The second interval is between 1 and 5 thirds. In symbol, x is between 1 and 5 thirds. The third interval is to the right of 5 thirds. In symbol, x is between 5 and its positive infinity. On the first interval, 0 is the best test value. 0 will be substituted to the x of 3x squared minus 8x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. 3 times 0 squared equals 0. Negative 8 times 0 equals 0. 0 minus 0 plus 5 equals 5. 5 is greater than or equal to 0 is a true statement. It means that all the values of the first interval are included on the solution set. On the second interval, 4 thirds is the least or best test value. 
To test four thirds on the inequality, first substitute four third for every x. Four times four equals sixteen. Three times three equals nine. Eight times four is thirty-two. Over three plus five is greater than or equal to 0. Cancel 3 and 9. We have 3. So we have 16 over 3 minus 32 over 3 plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. 16 minus 32 is negative 16 over 3 plus 5 is greater than or equal to a 0. By Using the LCD, 3, negative 16, 3 times 5 is 15, is greater than or equal to 0. Negative 16 plus 5 is negative 1 third, is greater than or equal to 0. Since negative 1 third is not equal or greater than to 0, so this is a... False statement. In the third interval, 2 is the lowest and best test value. To test x equals 2 on the inequality, so, tran, uh, so substitute 2. Two. 2 squared is equal to 4. Negative 8 times 2. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. Minus 16 is greater than or equal to 0. 17 minus 16 is 1. Is greater than or equal to 0. Is a true statement. Just because 1 is greater than 0. So this is a true statement statement. Test also the two values of x, 1 and 5 thirds to the inequality and after solving they are both true, meaning both of them are included on the solution set. Please take note again that the solution set is the interval values on all true test numbers. Since one holds true on the test value, we will use shaded circle since zero is true on the test value we will shade going to the left of one the value of x equals five thirds is also true on the inequality we will use shaded circle meaning five thirds is included on the solution set since x equals two is also true on the inequality we will shade going to the right of five thirds Again, from the graph, the red going to the left and to the right represents the solution set. Therefore, the solution set of the inequality in notation is x such that x is less than or equal to 1 or x is greater than or equal to 5 thirds. In symbol, x equals open and close bracket 1 and 5 thirds. Again, we use brackets because 1 and 5 thirds are both included on the solution set. Muli, kung nagustuhan mo at nakatulong sa iyo ang video na ito, please like. At pakishare mo na rin para makatulong din tayo sa iba.